27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Look at some of these temperatures. We had a record high temperature of 67 degrees in Madison earlier on today, but we topped out at 70 in Middleton, 72 Janesville, 73 in both Prairie de Sheen and Boscobel earlier on today. And well, now it's still pretty mild out there. Our average high temperature this time of the year is about 35 degrees. So when it's still 55 degrees after 10 o'clock in the evening, you know it's warm out there, especially for the end of February. Winds from the south right around 5 to 10 miles per hour now, keeping temperatures again still fairly mild. It's 56 in Watertown, Fond du Lac right around 55 degrees. A little bit cooler out in Camp Douglas where it is 47 degrees as of right now. If you are taking that dog out for a walk over the next several hours here, the good news is you won't necessarily need that heavy jacket or even that light jacket. Maybe get away with a sweatshirt. 2 o'clock in the morning, we're down to 46 degrees. Overnight low temperatures tumbling as low as the upper 30s and low 40s. I'm expecting a morning low temperature closer to 42 degrees. That latest model data kind of taking temps a little bit lower than originally anticipated, but I'm still expecting 42 by early tomorrow morning. Again, mainly clear skies stick around. Southerly winds getting up to around 5 to 10 miles per hour, essentially giving our temperatures a bit of a running head start for our Tuesday. So we wake up Tuesday morning under mainly clear to partly cloudy skies. More cloud cover as the day moves on, but temperatures, they continue to warm up as well. 52 degrees by nine o'clock by our lunch hour, pushing 62. Look at that high temperature tomorrow afternoon. As of right now, keeping our high at 69 degrees. If that holds, not only would that break a record, but it'll be the warmest temperature of the year thus far. And yes, if we reach 70 here in Madison, it will mark the first time ever in the month of February. Winds from the southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour, driving temperatures higher, but we want to know when will those storms make their way back in to southern Wisconsin? Well, it could be a bit of a bumpy ride throughout much of the Midwest tomorrow. See the Storm Prediction Center placing much of the Midwest under that two on the threat index. That slight risk of severe weather. We here in southern Wisconsin have more of that one on the threat index. One out of five, five being the worst. Still, that doesn't mean we're in the clear. We are still looking at a bit of a bumpy afternoon, especially between the hours of four o'clock to about eight o'clock in the afternoon, early evening. Damaging winds, large hail, isolated tornadic activity, all a possibility with these storms as they pass on through. Let's check our latest future track here, showing chances of rainfall moving in as early as 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You see that initial cluster of showers and storms fire through, through about 8 o'clock or so. After that, snow begins to move in from the west. Scattered snowfall lingering throughout the overnight hours into early Wednesday morning before exiting east at about 6 o'clock in the morning. Now we will hit high temperatures in the upper 60s near 70 degrees on Tuesday. By Wednesday morning, we'll wake up to a morning low temperature of just 16 degrees. If we go from 69 to 16 here in Madison, we could be looking at the third greatest difference in temperature over a 24 hour stretch in Madison's history, supplanting September 3rd, 96 at 52 degree, which currently sits right at three. Wednesday, your high temperature just 27 degrees, but then we begin to warm up. We're up to 43 degrees on Thursday. High temperatures on Friday back up into the low 50s. We'll see the low 60s on Saturday, and by Sunday, some of us could be right back up towards 70 degrees. It is an active uh, borderline bonkers forecast. If <laughs> bonkers. Bonkers. You know, in all honesty, I. <laughs> It's 69 degrees down to 16, yep. back up mm. to high temperatures in the yeah. 60s and 70s. It is a wild forecast ahead, but again, severe weather followed yeah. by, yes, snow, and then the bitter cold to follow. Yeah, so tune in tomorrow, important yes. day. Download the app. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm.